Hi, it's Nikina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today's topic is about slang and topic for today is gossiping or talking bad about others. But before I begin, for this video, I'm just gonna use informal pronunciation. For those of you still not clear yet what is informal pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation. Topic today is gossiping or talking bad about others and our slang, Malay slang is membawang. membawang. This slang kind of new but people really comfortable and happily using it these days. So that's why I'm going to introduce to you to this slang. So what exactly is membawang? Bawang is actually onion. It can be either bawang merah or bawang holland. Merah is red onion. Basically it's onion in general. But in Malay we call garlic as bawang putih. Putih is white. So this membawang is actually prefix mem plus the root word bawang. So what's the connection between this bawang and gossiping or talking back about others? So I guess it's like our metaphor. Like when you eat raw bawang, raw onion, when you eat them, it's really emitting smell from your mouth. Basically, it's like by talking bad about others or gossiping, it's like you emitting very bad smell from your mouth. That's basically the metaphor behind it. And then we have term what we call as pakcik bawang. So for those of you who's watching my We Are Family video, and I've mentioned about pakcik. So pakcik is uncle, and you call people pakcik if somebody is much elder than you. But somehow, not every much older people than you, you can call pakcik. Because sometimes people with titles, they don't like you to address them like that. And pakcik is not only your uncle, but somebody who is not related by blood to you as well. But somehow, this pakcik bawang, it refers to a guy who likes to talk bad about other people and regardless of age. Means that if you are young, but people call you pakcik, means they don't like you, they hate you. It's kind of like insulting you, okay? So pakcik bawang refers to guy who likes to talk bad about others involve themselves with gossiping and makcik bawang makcik is actually an so in Malaysia you actually address much older people female as makcik but if somebody has title then it's not polite to call them as makcik so in case if somebody who are young and being called makcik that means somebody like insult you that way so this makcik bawang refers to females who likes to talk about other people or involve themselves with gossiping. So, people who like to membawang, we call them pakcik bawang or makcik bawang, depends on their gender. But according to the our dictionary, the Kamus D1, membawang is actually bahasa kiasan or we call it like figurative language which refer to the act of eating the onion or somebody who is very angry but somehow this bahasa kiasan people don't really know much the meaning so in case if you heard somebody say membawang that doesn't mean that person is eating the bawang or angry but gossiping or talking bad about others so basically i wanted to say here even though in the former malay in our bahasa kiasan membawang actually have other meanings but People don't know much about it. I also come up with another theory. Maybe also this word membawa originated from our culture, what we call as budaya rewang. Budaya is culture. Or sometimes people say kerja rewang. Kerja is work. So budaya rewang or kerja rewang. What this rewang is all about is actually a cooperation 
Cooperation in Malay, we have word like gotong royong, which means teamwork. So this cooperation between villages to prepare the food for the wedding. So during this gathering, normally budaya rewang, this is the traditional way. But this place, of course, people like order for catering. But before, villages used to unite together and prepare the food for somebody wedding. So during this gathering, of course it's in one place and they're doing the cooking together and normally it happened, not every rewang like that, but it happened during the rewang time because of too many people, then many kinds of stories come out from their mouth, talking about other people's and etc. Commenting this and that. So from this word rewang, maybe that's how the word membawang also come out. So I give Give here some phrases for us to revise how to use the word membawang. I give Malay example here. Pakcik dan makcik bawang terlalu sibuk membawang hingga lupa cermin diri. Pakcik dan makcik bawang terlalu sibuk membawang hingga lupa cermin diri. Pakcik dan makcik bawang terlalu sibuk membawang hingga lupa cermin diri. So, Pakci and Makci Bawang, as I mentioned, so I won't translate that into English because it will be inaccurate. Terlalu is to, sebo is busy. So, terlalu sebo, too busy. Membawang, as I mentioned also, gossiping or talking bad about other people. Hingga is until, lupa is forget, cermin is actually mirror, diri is self. So, lupa cermin diri, lupa is like forgot, cermin diri is like reflect on yourself. So, I translate here, pakcik dan makcik bawang, too busy membawa until they forgot to reflect on themselves. So, this basically telling that if you busy focusing on somebody's like floors, then you forgot your own floors. And if people membawang, then normally somebody will ask, Kenapa membawang? Why membawang? So maybe because of dengki, jealousy, or busuk hati, evil heart. Busuk is actually stinky, hati is hard. So busuk hati is actually somebody who has so much evil in their heart, you know. Always see something wrong in other people. I continue again. Dapat apa membawang? Apa dapat membawang? As I mentioned in my previous video, in Malay for speaking, we don't really have strict rules. So, dapat apa or apa dapat can be used either ways. So, dapat apa, dapat is get, apa is what. So, dapat apa membawang? Apa dapat membawang? So, basically in English, it's like, what do you get by membawang? What do you get by talking bad about other people's? Or what do you get by gossiping? So, what you will get is, dosa, dosa is sin, buang masa, wasting time, buang is actually throw, masa is time. And then, I translate again, hidup sendiri pun tak terjaga. Hidup sendiri pun tak terjaga. So, basically in English, it's like, your own life also will be neglected. So, hidup is life. Sendiri is self. So, own life is like hidup sendiri. Own, even, or also here. Tak is from the word tidak, which means not. Terjaga. Jaga is like taking care. So, tak terjaga when you out of hand, when you supposed to do it. So, it's like neglected. I translate it like that. So, hidup sendiri pun tak terjaga. Conclusion is, jauhi membawang, avoid membawang, jauhi pakcik dan makcik bawang. Jauhi is avoid, done is end. So, jauhi membawang, jauhi pakcik dan makcik bawang. So, basically, if you are surrounded yourself with negativity, with negative people, Without you realize, in long term, maybe you will take the trip. You will also become the people which you get along. So, if you are in negative situation, and you cannot turn that into positive situation, you will get that negativity. So, the best is if you cannot turn it into positive, because if you tell the makcik and pakcik bawang like to behave, they normally don't like it, because they are comfortable with that kind of lifestyle. So, what you should do is like, find people who don't membawang. That's basically about our slang for today. Thank you very much for watching me and if you like my video, please check out my Patreon page so that I can have more time to make more videos. 
for those of you who support me through this media thank you very much and for those of you who's watching me right now thank you very much and till we meet again then bye